So good evening, everyone. Uh, and thank you for coming on this like, extraordinary cold night in, 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 in Hong Kong. Um, it gives me great pleasure, uh, but I will talk about my pleasure later. I will first talk about my honor of... Uh, <laughs> Of um, yeah, even earlier, of uh, welcoming Georg Schönhammer um, to um, tonight and to for, for this whole month of residency in Hong Kong, as, as uh, Georg has been for the past few weeks uh, uh, in our residency program. Um, Georg Schönhammer is a curator, a writer, a thinker, and a publisher uh, from Vienna. He is the founding uh, editor of Springer in magazine and, and, and still uh, the, the chief editor of the, uh, of the very reputed German language uh, magazine. Uh, he has been the uh, director of the Documenta 12 magazine project, uh, which was a parallel project of the 12th edition of the uh, Documenta in, in Kassel. Um, um, he is also the head of Transit Arte, which is a, a, a curatorial office institution that is part of a, a Central European network of, of institutions that work on, on a wide range of um, uh, fields, from, from uh, art historical research to uh, curating and publishing. Um, and together with Hedwig Sachsenhuber, he is the curator of uh, next year's uh, Arsenale, which is uh, the largest uh, panel of contemporary art in Eastern Europe, taking place in Kiev. Um, so I guess this is a, a you know a, for the honor part, and of course it gives me great personal pleasure to also uh, welcome Georg, as I have known Georg for many many years, and Georg was my boss in the Documenta magazine project. Um, so um, uh, you know, there's like a special uh, affection and respect that uh, that connects me to Gail. And somehow, you know, this would probably not be a bad way to start the, the conversation tonight as we, you know, indeed want to make it rather informal and to, um, you know, remain a bit in the, in, 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 in the spirit. So um, I'd like to, to maybe open this conversation by evoking the circumstances in which we met, the circumstances in which uh, um, you know, I was starting to work in which like Georg had been working for many years, which was a little bit this, the field of, of, of research and curating in, in Eastern Europe uh, in the early 2000s, uh, which was at that time emerging as, uh, I wouldn't want to like, digress too much here, but like it was somehow emerging from uh, its status of a, of, a, of, a, of a transitional, you know, post-communist condition into, into a category in itself that was being uh, somehow reimagined by certain people and repackaged by, by other people. So it was really somehow a key uh, moment in, the, uh, in, 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 in determining that uh, cultural uh, area. And I would say that that kind of uh, phenomenon is also relevant beyond only Eastern Europe because this was only a case of a much wider phenomenon. Yeah, so definitely, definitely. Uh, uh, you touched it, Cosmin. It was uh, uh, maybe maybe that's uh, that's an itinerary we could go today. Uh, even what uh, the eighties meant, that are now so quoted again by a lot of artists, and uh, 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 as a remembrance, what. In the other way of the 90s, meant what has this uh, uh, heuristic power of suddenly stating that there would be something like an altar, an alternative, or something like a, a hidden history that would have to be discovered, uh, 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 meant uh, what, 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 what was the reality behind that, and uh, how would that reality inform, so to say, uh, uh, that what we see currently, nevertheless, the talk was a bit differently announced. It was announced that I would circulate around, uh, so to say, the rapid changing of the European art will be. We'd come back uh, to that later, but I think it's a, it's a quite good starting point because of uh, uh, this uh, 
when we met in 2000 was uh, uh, something like a bit similar to that what happened in the late uh, uh, 90s or early 2000s to other escapes in the world, maybe besides the Asians, which uh, 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 the Asian which had a particular history through its uh, uh, through a post-colonial <coughs> discourse that uh, had particularly started from an Asian Indian, uh, 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 American Indian, American Asian uh, sort of say narrative already in the 90s, but. Uh, it was uh, a, a blind landscape actually after the decline of the uh, fall of the Berlin Wall, uh, where uh, uh, you would you would suddenly feel a, 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 a political power entering that was a, a, the utmost neoliberal power of transformation. It was one of the most uh, uh, rapid neoliberal transformations that uh, uh, had ever gone on in, a, in, a, in, in in countries that that had opened from a socialist. Uh, background, so uh, the economies have been partly destroyed in, uh, in, in two or three years and have been taken over by, uh, 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 so to say, uh, already then still Western but uh, already globalized thinking uh, actually uh, uh, economic elite that transformed it all to the Milton Friedman uh, paradigm. But it was even harder than that what we have to remember next year that would happen in 74 in Chile. Uh, and it fell into a, uh, it fell into an art space that was pretty uh, uh, well blind to itself. It uh, so actually it was a multifold art space because of all of these Eastern European countries, including Russia, that we used to see from the outset always as a homogeneous kind of landscape of uh, uh, of, a, of, of a centralized communist reign and so on and so on had their particularities and they had their own so to say histories to carry uh, which had been broken up mainly <coughs> after six uh, after 68 after that uh, intervention in Prague when the communism that had opened to an inter to an international universalism uh, linking to uh, uh, modernist practices around the world and even uh, uh, informing modernist practices around the world uh, had been forced to withdraw and uh, a certain uh, uh, imposed, uh, 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 well, structural, uh, uh, even uh, uh, conservative modernism uh, uh, took reign again and suppressed all that what had uh, 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 grown in the international air uh, of uh, transcontinental and uh, leftist, uh, so to say, connections in the 60s that had existed and uh, uh, so you, what you saw in the in the region was uh, always local he heroes that had started from that neo avant garde position mainly uh, 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 either in dialogue with the western thousand even thousand colleagues yeah which is a story that is still to be told uh, uh, think at the, uh, uh, for instance, at the uh, that what happened in the Biennale in Paris, in Paris, yeah. That there, there is that there, there has been a lot of connection points from from daily the Triennale to the Biennale in Paris to Cuba, to somehow uh, uh, the male art movements in the in the 60s in in, in uh, that that uh, have been covering part of the South American continent. So there was a a certain universalism in modernism that was more or less. The UNESCO modernism that uh, created that kind of international aura of uh, uh, enlightened uh, 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 possibility of uh, of governance uh, uh, between the blocks, and on the other hand, there was this neo avant garde that that gathered, yeah. And the American was just one of these neo avant garde yeah. It uh, uh, was maybe with the German reunion in a very fruitful discourse, but it was just one of these neo avant garde And so there have been this residua of that neo avant garde all around Eastern Europe. You had in Prague, you had a long tradition of surrealism uh, that, 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 that broke and then uh, you had in the Slovakia there was a, a cosmological thinking uh, that, in, uh, that in, the, in the 60s and 70s created figures like Julius Koller or Stano Filko who, 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 who partly developed something like a strange uh, 
uh, a much more uh, transcendental con conceptualism. You had uh, uh, a Polish art uh, scene that was very, very de in deep discourse with, uh, they called the Paris, uh, with situationist practices, but as well with American uh, uh, influences and had a totally elaborate system, almost a social democrat system of art places uh, uh, that uh, uh, have been around uh, uh, in the region, uh, 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 that have been done by student center, that even had something like public funding and, and, and that uh, uh, really uh, uh, a theoretical discourse uh, uh, in all the semiological paradigm uh, that was then governing uh, uh, somehow the uh, conceptual air of experimental art, you had uh, a, a, a much more uh, uh, complicated Russia, where on the one hand uh, abstraction arrived in the 50s via uh, uh, the American shows that came in, uh, uh, the, the pre-Cold War American shows, uh, where you had this uh, op art of uh, uh, Cabrera Infante, you had a uh, you had uh, a, a real uh, Tashist painting, you had uh, post-surrealist things, and you had the governing Cezanne, post-Cezanne realism that was uh, in the Khrushchev, after the Khrushchev years, so to say, uh, following the socialist realism. Whereas in other regions, like, like in Romania, yeah, mm. you had a brilliant intellectual discourse till 68, 72, mm. yeah? Nietzscheanians, uh, uh, a wide, a wide debate about almost Levin, uh, uh, Levinas uh, 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 thinking uh, uh, in, in conflict with uh, 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 with uh, 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 a lot of in intrusion of already then French uh, uh, philosophy, uh, Meloporti, and all these these guys have been widely discussed. And then came this break of Ceausescu. So Romania was a day. Bulgaria, on the other hand, was a paternalized country. Yeah? Uh, that had uh, a, a princess, a prince uh, that was very near to the uh, to the uh, 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 party uh, uh, leader, Dodo Shivkov, uh, uh, and Shivkov's wife had uh, uh, something like uh, circles that had a strange idea of uh, an almost, uh, 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 I could say. Buddhist uh, religious life, and there was a, a person that really governed uh, it with a late modernist painting structure. So, what happened was that suddenly these scenes yeah, got into an international debate. Yeah, uh, they have been forced to each other to, to talk to each other because of su suddenly programs came in, like uh, this famous Soros program, this uh, 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 financial investor who. Uh, 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 who uh, has uh, Eastern European uh, 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 origin, created his centers everywhere. And in these centers, uh, he found very good young personnel, yeah? uh, mostly in the mid-30s, that up to now are quite famous persons, actually, uh, one could say, in the, in the European art world. And they get it. And what they did, they created something like a heuristic power out of that what they have been. Yeah? Suddenly they found out it might be a good idea to talk about something that they even themselves did not know because of they did not have a chance to, to, to research properly, museums did not collect uh, all these art practices. Most of these art practices have been, take, uh, have been uh, uh, going on in, 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 in semi-private spaces, except Poland, I would say. Yeah? And uh, uh, at the same time, it was uh, uh, 89, 1991, the Yugoslav wars broke out, yeah, and Yugoslavia, who never felt itself like being an Eastern country with the Tito non-aligned uh, 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 initiative, uh, Bandam Conference, Jakarta, India, Nasserist modernism. So it was a totally different country. Yugoslavia suddenly got Easternized and got into ethnic troubles, and Yugoslavia had really something like a, a Western. Uh, a neo avant garde practice that had its uh, institutions, that had its museums, and that has, had been collected. So, all this did hang around together in the sort of cell circles and created a figure called Eastern Europe, uh, which was a suddenly cut an, an, an immense heuristic power to talk back to, uh, 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 to, to that what the West would have liked to govern. 
And the West itself had gone through the 80s, yeah? where the West somehow, by a strange move, had eradicated its own knowledge about the complexity of the arrival of neo avant-garde neo in, 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 uh, and criticisms of modernism in a lot of regions as South America, as uh, 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 India would have been, as parts, parts of Northern Africa would have been, and uh, uh, got trapped into a very, very offensive leftist discourse that had its flagship uh, 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 magazines like October, uh, uh, that created something like a hegemony, hegemony out of the 60s paradigm of uh, 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 mainly New York, a bit uh, uh, post-flux uh, 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 European uh, uh, conceptual, neo-conceptual minimalist tendencies. So uh, this was there. There was a discourse around this that never arrived in Eastern Europe. Yeah? because of nothing has been translated, uh, 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 things have been banned, it has been much more the, the, the Pierre Restany French discourse that still had, uh, uh, had survived in the regions. So, oh, blind. And there was another discourse that came in. And then immediately with the neoliberalism, this, this elite linked to uh, Western leftists, yeah? Uh, 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 which uh, uh, brought all the new, uh, 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 let's say, uh, tools of uh, the post-structuralist, uh, uh, the, the, so, so, so to say, the, the marriage of the uh, difference and uh, the Lacanian real, yeah? So, and it created a mess. It really created a mess somehow, for, for at least Ten years, you could say uh, 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 that there was uh, a lot of misreadings around, yeah? and that started to clear up. To come back in our point around 2000. Mm -hmm. I, why I'm telling the stories too extensively is because of I think that similar things somehow, uh, uh, though from a different educational background and and, and with a different uh, 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 personnel. Uh, uh, and we come back to that maybe later, are happening in other ideas of regional talkbacks uh, uh, and happened in the 2000s. If you think about that, what came out of the Arab world, uh, 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 if you, actually the Arab world is as, as, as much multifolded and has as much different trajectories and has as much different uh, artistic uh, histories and practices to carry as it uh, uh, as that what we see now going on as a paradigm of uh, uh, Arabic contemporary art or, or discourse uh, 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 would ever know. Yeah, but it has the heuristic power of talking back to whatever enemy the the Western. Usually, it is the Western enemy, uh, and uh, I have the idea that. There is a certain idea about Asianness that is uh, is, is is circulating uh, uh, that uh, uh, one could comparably. Uh, I'm not I'm not really familiar with the region. I have to say, but I, I, I could see. I, I, I'm really open to talk about such similarities. So that's what that that was the that was the, the period more or less uh, 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 where we have met. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, and, and how about Europe now? I mean, like, let's move period. Let's move like 10 years later or, 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 or eight years later because, uh, in a way, it's like many things are, well, I mean, you, you didn't touch Western Europe so much at, uh, 10 years ago, but it's probably because it was not so interesting as a place 10 years ago in terms of like what was going on there. It was like quite predictable, but that uh, predictability has been like completely cancelled now. And in a way, um, it is a more interesting place as a as a phenomenon, but it's also... Um, well, Western Europe, Western Europe then, uh, 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 like around uh, Western Europe in the late 90s, 
had another uh, had another so to say uh, story to tell. It was a it was a story uh, of uh, uh, trying to overcome the 80s. I mean, the 80, the the 80s have been probably the first period after the uh, after the Second World War. This a bit the early 70s where uh, uh, art suddenly got something like uh, uh, more than uh, 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 either an educational idea of late enlightenment uh, 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 government uh, or a, a hangaround of uh, alternative groups and, uh, uh, and uh, alternative venues, but it got really a quite, quite powerful and marketable issue. So, so I think uh, I, I, the American and, and, and the Eastern European art world in the, in the, in, in, in the 80s faced the first time uh, uh, that, 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 that strong triangle where market critique and museums work together in building up something like an art system that was at the beginning, from the beginning on market driven and that happened, that happened uh, 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 to a revenge to the to the to the uh, 60s and 70s uh, uh, critical movements from two sides. On the one, one hand, which is a, a known story from 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 the punk uh, 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 from the punk movements, which, which means from the gener from the movements of the generations that had somehow failed to 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 to, to face the transformation that started in Britain in the in the 70s. And on the other hand, there was this latency of an institutional field uh, uh, that had developed in Enlightenment, uh, so that you still would have a lot of uh, in the in the 90s and early 2000s, you would still have a lot of residue of that old idea of social democracy, yeah, which was existing in 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 in, in the art world for a very long uh, for a very long time for le for at least 30. 30, 40 years in, in Europe, and made, which made, which made Europe so I think admirable for a lot of for a, for a lot of others because of states still invested so to say in museums and uh, still invested so to say in a, in a in a very very sublime funding structure that mainly has been uh, democratically uh, 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 decided. Uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, Europe just got unified in the European Union, which where the common market, so to say, uh, uh, needed something like uh, uh, an exchange good. And art was one of the exchange goods that the common market need, needed to know that people would get to know each other, you know? Uh, so what you would have in the, in, the, in, 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 the, in, the, in the late 80s, early 90s, would, have, would be all these uh, shows, Amel Italian avant-garde or Italian contemporary art in Britain, British contemporary art in whatsoever. All these nationalized uh, 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 ideas of uh, uh, displaying something like a national practice to the other, so that one could interchange. And this, uh, 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 on the other hand, created uh, an aura of market as well, because of suddenly local, mainly local artists that usually would have made it through New York, uh, got marketable uh, uh, on an uh, on an internal European market. So that market was was getting to. Uh, to be set up, prepared in a very, very fruitful discourse uh, with uh, some uh, mainly uh, uh, New York agents. I mean, that was the, tra the, 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 the travel itineraries of the Western art world when, uh, when 1989 and 90 happened, uh, was mainly centered towards going to Cologne, towards going to London, towards going to New York and forth and back. And there this, uh, and there this first really market boom Created, uh, uh, created uh, uh, that uh, type of show setup. On the other hand, uh, 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 the punk movement and the, 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 the junction that the punk movement made with the political left uh, later on, and uh, with the with the so-called sponsor political left later on, and uh, uh, with uh, that what one could call European style cultures. Uh, had uh, uh, had another itinerary, and uh, but, but is it boring because of the story is so no, 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 no. no. Uh, 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 but I think it is it is quite important to see why the blindness against Eastern European or the or the colon uh, the colonies happened, you know, and in uh, 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 in, in in that uh, it was much more the re. Uh, 
the rereading of certain American discourses and certain American discursive frames that came in by, uh, uh, on the one hand, the October paradigm of uh, mm. first Lacanist, but then critical theory uh, 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 idea after John uh, 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 Kopchik had to leave the uh, October editorial. And uh, uh, on the other hand, of uh, 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 the post-structural and the post-colonial discourses that arrived slightly in the art field, uh, uh, you had this young group of artists uh, uh, re re it, uh, reiterating mainly American practices of, uh, um, uh, of uh, let's say, neo-avant-garde or conceptualism or political uh, conceptualism of e even the, the, the mid-80s where, uh, uh, where uh, on the one hand all the issues of race, gender uh, 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 and sex had been brought up in the American, f uh, in the American dis debate uh, around 92, uh, <coughs> uh, around the 92 anniversary. And then on the other hand, where uh, uh, this really powerful group of master artists uh, that had been created out of that European, so to say, uh, a system had to be challenged because of the took the museum. So it was a form of institutional critique uh, uh, that had uh, its American heroes, be it uh, the group material, be it uh, 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 real, real, real conceptualisms, and that was on the focus of the Western European artists. So to go to Eastern Europe was something like almost impossible. That was. Uh, uh, we always thought it was something like the grey blind field of nothing happened but the late modernism that faded out into strange monumental figures of uh, slab constructed houses and whatsoever. <laughs> so there was this blindness, yeah? Uh, this blindness that, that was uh, uh, quite uh, uh, nicely debated then uh, uh, already by a book that I, I find now is uh, uh, getting uh, the more and more I important, which was the Libidinous Academy of, uh, uh, Economy of, uh, of, uh, 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 of Lyotard, not so much the postmodern cohesion. Yeah? And you have to see, in 90, uh, uh, when, this was uh, uh, when this was coming back, it was coming back through a, a lot of uh, uh, artist spaces that have been unhappy uh, with the museum system that uh, suddenly was forced by, this, by the European city competition to, uh, 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 to, 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 to create capital in neoliberalism, uh, to uh, uh, do these blockbuster shows uh, 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 in the museums, but the museums still had their research departments and still had their small-scale uh, small uh, uh, institutional frames. So there was a challenge to reiterate something like institutional critique, uh, backed up by uh, the new uh, uh, tools that one had by, uh, so to say, post-structuralist feminism and uh, 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 post-colonial theory. Because of Europe up to that uh, period has not really uh, discussed its own colonial histories, one can say, besides, uh, besides uh, parts of the Stuart Hall School and that what came up from Raymond Williams uh, in the... In, in, in the, in the uh, in the British Academia, this has not happened. It's still not happening in France, for instance. It's, it's still, it's it's still an issue. It's just it's just started in Holland and and, and in Belgium. It, I mean, it, it, there was just a, a, a new consideration about the Belgian Congo thing, like uh, a few years ago in Tabor and with the with the new setup of the museum and so on and so on. So, the focus was a West Western focus music-based, fashion-based, uh, 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 coming from punk as well, with all the Western tunes and uh, 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 electricity came in and electronics came in. And uh, 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 even the geopolitical focus was not that wise that one could look at Eastern Europe or uh, one could look to South America, because of the geopolitical imaginary was 1991, uh, uh, the Iraq war. Yeah? where, uh, 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 so to say, it suddenly occurred that there was a triumph of the invisible made visible. You know, you could see the, you could see the, uh, 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 the, the invisible of the, of the control machine that would, that would guard a missile to something like a bunker somewhere, something like a minimalist sculpture somewhere in, 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 in the middle of the desert in Kuwait. Yeah? Uh, and this was uh, a fantasy for all the ones that had uh, just uh, 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 started to play with electronics, started to play with media, art, and all these things. So 
all these uh, hidden histories that have been around that, on the other hand, created the basis of uh, the new European flourishing economy because of that uh, exploiting of Eastern European resources uh, was part of the flourishing of the 2000s European economy. So Europe in the, up to the 2000s did not see, 2000-2005, that itself is rapidly transforming into something like uh, 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 in almost the same way. So that there would be an economical decline. Uh, that would be followed maybe by a, 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 a less productive idea of uh, uh, that what art could be. So art that in the 80s and then the early 90s faced to get to know each other, to create up something like a, a, a valuable structure where, where uh, a certain elites could, could navigate around in galleries, in, in museum spaces, uh, where politics could not uh, uh, could via art somehow take the responsibility of showing cultural diversity in Europe, which is always, so to say, the main mission of European Union. We are having cultural diversity. We having so many languages. We having so many dialects of artists. Yeah. So 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 there was there, there's been a lot of ideas of of of, of, of blind counter projections around, and uh, uh, this started totally to break. After the uh, after dissolution of the of the Lehman Brothers uh, uh, 2007, so uh, what we are facing now in Europe is, on the one hand, that there uh, uh, well, maybe may we make an interruption to any questions so far because I'm very no. rhapsodically mm -hmm. talking just out no, of my head. We're just getting to I, the I, point I, of talking about Europe now. Yeah. I think it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be avoiding it. I mean, I know it's bleak, but uh, no, it's, I'm, it. not, I'm not avoiding it. But I think one has to tell, when one have a, there is always a deep prehistory of things that one has to mention. You know? Yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, uh, sure. uh, 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 Europe now. Uh, uh, <laughs> Europe now seen through this, seen, seen through this what I tried to sketch, yeah. Uh, In a, a distant province. It's a distant province from here, yes. or it's, it's just, uh, 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 no, uh, I mean, politically it is in deep shit. <laughs> everybody, everybody knows that there is uh, uh, not just that it's economically drowning, besides the, 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 the regaining of the German power, but it's in deep shit because of uh, uh, the, as usually uh, the uh, the decline of an economy and uh, the left the leftover of. Uh, 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 bourgeois and lower middle classes uh, uh, creates uh, 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 national uh, uh, national resentments. Or, 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 or uh, Krakow has uh, very well uh, uh, talked about that how that happened in the 1920s in Germany, and you're seeing that uh, uh, throughout Europe. So you're having really uh, a, a kind of a, 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 a politics uh, of the right wing that is. Uh, deeply uh, uh, as well including uh, European Social Democrats. European Social Democrats who had an international idea and are really uh, trying to get back the, their voters uh, and, 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 and uh, going back to a certain discourse of uh, 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 national uh, uh, politics that is, uh, that is uh, quite interesting to see. And th this is touching in a lot of respects uh, the art world. So on the other hand uh, uh, parallel to that glo globalizing events of economy that we uh, that we saw, uh, there is uh, 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 there was from this milieu of the 90s that then saw that it had to together with uh, 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 with so to say its allies elsewhere and they found their allies in South America mainly before that some of them. Uh, 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 in uh, uh, later on elsewhere, uh, uh, there was uh, a repolitization of the art field. Yeah, not just uh, uh, as it happened as an institutional critique of, repo uh, 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 but uh, really a repolitization in a in an agitatory sense. Yeah, so you suddenly had a, 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 a quite uh, sublime uh, field of. Uh, Political artists that in the uh, early 2000s started to regain uh, a, a, a field uh, 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 that was long given over to uh, filmmaking, namely documentary practices. 
So uh, uh, there was a certain kind of realism coming with that, uh, uh, which uh, meant that uh, uh, the documentary, some uh, uh, the, the, the documenting uh, or doing documents about social issues, about political issues, uh, even uh, uh, talking heads documents, yeah, uh, created a whole school, so to say. Uh, around that uh, uh, political movement. On the other hand, uh, 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 there has been a junction, so to say, of protest movements and art uh, uh, and art movements for a moment uh, as well around 2003, 2004, uh, 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 Genova and all these uh, and all these summits and so on. You 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 don't have to name it. And that created another an, another air of, uh, of 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 kind of a, 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 a possible uh, a, 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 a reaction to that. Uh, various uh, uh, parallel to that, the market really got strong in the early 2000s. Yeah, it really got strong. It took over. Uh, there, uh, a lot of practices, a lot of sublime practices, and transformed them into into marketable goods. It's very rough cut, but we could go to, to we could go to uh, 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 to issues and uh, uh, created careers out of that uh, uh, 90s milieu. Yeah, uh, uh, people that would have had that club uh, institutional critique type of approach uh, 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 would suddenly get fashionable uh, to create. For the big markets and the big collectors that, that that then globalized. So suddenly you had a shift of these two practices. Various in the 90s, one could say that um, uh, this recuperation of 60s practices still mirrored in the pieces. Yeah, uh, uh, they have been fragile. They have been uh, poor. Some some of them have been uh, uh, very process based. Uh, uh, it was not always about uh, uh, presenting so, so to say objects. Uh, uh, the, 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 the field diverse very much and careers have uh, 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 developed out of the field and there was a basis of, uh, of artists that very well managed uh, uh, to, to go through that, that, that wide institutional landscape of smaller art institutions, Kunstvereins, uh, uh, artist run spaces, uh, secondary galleries in uh, uh, museums of, uh, of modern art that have been had, that, that had quite a lot of funding still to do national funding programs uh, uh, that would allow atelier practices, the biennials. Yeah, so th there you had this move of this this political documentary or political explicit installative uh, uh, art that somehow. On the other, on the on the other hand, uh, uh, actually, uh, got away from uh, uh, from that fragility that the 90s uh, 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 still could keep in between centering around a production that would manifest in uh, loose objects or or, or 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 at least processes that would manifest in in, in, in artistic pieces. Yeah, uh, and uh, there was there, 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 there was this blind stream. And uh, 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 this, even this milieu, uh, uh, created its own normalities. So that's 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 what we had in the last three or four years. Yeah. Uh, uh, and on the other hand, this enormous boom of uh, and the enormous of, enormous boom of the market. So it is pretty hard, I think, uh, uh, for for a lot of uh, uh, for a lot of young artists at the moment to decide. Yeah. The 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 the, uh, uh, in, uh, the the states funding is going back. It's mainly uh, uh, going to national funding agencies like the Mondrian Stichting and and, and, and the British uh, 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 Arts Council of Great Brit uh, Arts Council of Great Britain and uh, uh, and others that are doing a uh, that are doing kind of. Uh, 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 a rather nationalist funding policy, uh, and uh, they are hung, uh, and uh, uh, the budget cuts of the last two or three or five, four years have made it necessary to uh, 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 have, uh, have made it in the rhetorics necessary actually to 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 to, to, to force on the uh, on the one hand mu uh, uh, institutions to uh, uh, sustainability in financial terms, which brings them to. 
to block more and more blockbuster uh, shows, yeah, uh, which polit politicians like. I mean, Charles Ashley had this case in, 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 in like two years ago in the Van Abbey Museum in Amsterdam, where the Social Democrats accused him for doing shows not uh, 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 readable enough and not powerful enough for the general public. So that's a that's a general tendency that uh, that you're still having. And uh, it is a Western European tendency. It's various this, this this what I said this this homogenization of the documentary and the and and the artistic uh, and, and, and the activist field that led to uh, that led to uh, uh, an under complexity sometimes of artworks, yeah, and to the over complexity of the uh, of the object production on the market, yeah. There is there is there is there is a void, so to say, or a deep gap in between for real uh, uh, for real considerations uh, 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 about it. On the other hand, I mean, uh, uh, all this all this field of so to say counterproduction in itself got formatted and is a valuable good on the second market that uh, that developed mainly from Europe, which is the biennial market. Yeah, you know the biennial, the biennial and short short term projects market. Yeah, so you you could see a lot of that personnel that came out of uh, 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 of this uh, documentary political attitude, being then recruited into that what one could call the biennial market because of, uh, they, they they created a certain methodology to deal with local a local comp a local complex issue and to trans to, to translate it immediately into something like a documentary and installative or whatsoever format that would legitimize the biennial of being at local at all yeah? so this was again forcing that slight un slight under complexity of the art uh, 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 on the other hand i mean it's it's getting really complex because on the other hand uh, uh, parallelly to that in Eastern Europe, but as well in, in, in South America and in the other uh, in other region, a real political art emerged that had a, 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 a different enemy because it was not so long a, it was not a state institutional framework that broke down or that one could ship around or that one could be formatted by but there was really a political urgency uh, an issue of political urgency to to rethink political practices from a different from a different angle and uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I think that this uh, uh, is a, a real difficult uh, 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 and uh, poisonous misjunction of uh, uh, exchanging methodologies yeah uh, that, that 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 happened I mean that's that's what we are facing in moment in Europe on the uh, on the other hand art is getting real lifestyle it's not just it's just like here and it's like it's just like here in Asia you know uh, 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 an oligarch in Austria an oligarch in Germany would have collected antiques in the in the seventies or in the eighties, so contemporary art would not have been anything, yeah. Uh, uh, but now it's about really uh, 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 trying to harvest, so to say, the local contemporary art to uh, to be able to to communicate a certain uh, idea of lifestyle, like modernist universalism in design was once in the in the fifties and and then the early sixties. It's now getting contemporary art and its and its peculiarities. So. Uh, this creates uh, uh, unevenness on the other side because of these oligarchs, not just uh, or, or these this, this powerful corporate institutions, not just uh, 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 collect like the American collectors would collect, but they collect into museums yeah? and uh, force, so to say, this old, uh, rather elaborate, at least uh, as, uh, 70 or 90 year existing institution of the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art uh, in, 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 in Europe to change its policies. Yeah? Uh, so the policies are, are, are now much more collector, funder. Uh, I don't know any museum in, in, in Europe uh, of bigger size that did not have big collections or collector or private collector uh, 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 exhibitions, especially in the last five years. Yeah? And uh, uh, that is creating, uh, uh, on the one hand, a production uh, uh, in the galleries uh, uh, that is almost like a mass production of, uh, 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 of quite big size works. So uh, on, the, on the one hand, you're having uh, uh, that structure 
on the other hand you have in this structure and in between there is almost no space left for consumptions that would allow you to go uh, to not pour out the institute of uh, uh, modern or contemporary art. Uh, I mean, one could, one, one, one could think about the, the wider logics of that. Uh, I mean, Peter Osborne has done a quite nice book on that that, is, uh, that has come uh, uh, recently out. Why that uh, 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 a kind of internet uh, uh, that, that kind of had to happen internally. But that's the state of Western Europe again. Yeah. That's the state of Western Europe. Eastern Europe is in deep shit because it's, again, after it had that uh, 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 show up in the 90s and early 2000s, it's forgotten, you know? Yugoslavia, who was so in the center of everything, you know? Nobody, no one takes care about their practices any longer, besides maybe the ones that reiterate the communist narrative, which is getting appealing for the, uh, uh, for the alternative and leftist field. Uh, uh, so if you talk to people in Belgrade, they, they, uh, uh, they have been quoted yeah, as a center of a conflict. Their practices have been shown around, but now they, they almost, yeah, they don't have anything but uh, maybe invi be invited to a few biennials. The same is true for Rom uh, in Romania, it's a bit better because of some smaller institutions have been uh, uh, artist run spaces uh, 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 or, or, or engaged art spaces uh, uh, ha have been showing up. Uh, 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 in, 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 yeah, in, in, in Czech Republic it is just one space that's happening. In Slovakia it's uh, uh, renationalization of the museum, uh, uh, one small space that's going on. In Hungary there is a deep almost fascist reign at the moment. Uh, uh, this, uh, uh, people that are dying on the streets of uh, xenophobia, Jewish people that uh, that are getting hardly punished. Uh, the, 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 the Romanian uh, 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 Hungarian conflict is popping up, and all these things. Yeah, and artists uh, uh, they, 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 they had a quite good museum there. Uh, the director has been fired, so artists are again driven out. Uh, and <laughs> Moscow, I don't have to tell you because everybody knows what has happened. You know. So uh, uh, that's the state of Europe a bit in the moment that we're in. Uh, uh, I've seen from the outside, from the art world inside, it's it, it's even uh, it, there, there would be a, there would be another story to tell, <laughs> which links it to the transnational, which might be interesting here. Yeah, uh, uh, because of parallel to that uh, uh, 90s movement, uh, the figure of the curator. It's it, it's it, it's such it's such a banal thing to say that the figure of the curator got so important. But it's not banal if you see how this, uh, uh, how, how this uh, uh, really changed art production. Maybe in the same way that collectors change art production, curators or the curatorial change, uh, changes reception of even that what one could call the local or the regional. Yeah? Because uh, of uh, what you see as well, uh, I would say in the last, see in the last decade is uh, that against uh, either these forces of a sometimes a, a bit uh, uh, petrified uh, uh, a constellation of local avant-garde and uh, uh, the market or the missing uh, uh, institutional uh, take, uh, caretaking about contemporary practices, it is small-scale institutions that are implemented around the globe, one can say really around the globe, that are very well interconnected. Yeah? Uh, uh, mainly run not by artists, but run by curators, yeah? like you are running this one here. Uh, uh, and there is a certain uh, uh, educational narrative with these curators. Yeah? Usually they go through one of the three or four main European or uh, 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 North American curating school, be it the Goldsmiths, be it the Reichs Academy, be it sometimes the, well, the Royal College or uh, whatsoever. And uh, 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 there is a there is a certain uh, there is a certain there is a certain there is a certain methodology that is that is that is uh, uh, which 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 has two folds in my in my perspective. Uh, 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 it, it is usually a, a very a very very well educated uh, generation that comes with a certain package of theoretical background. Yeah. Uh, 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 and the theoretical background is more or less 90s, I have to say. Mm. You know, if you look what we are working with, it is when, uh, when has Shishek written the book? 
91 was first. It is the first and most influential way where, 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 where Difference and, 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 and Laconism married at facing the Yugoslav war and the real. Then uh, Ashana Padura, I think 1994. Uh, Homi Baba, I think 94 uh, or something. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 w. Chita Mitchell, 96 or something. Uh, uh, He's not anymore. Really no, but he has been. Canon. No, no, but, but, but cool. visual turn is still there. As, uh, sure. in, in, in curatorial teaching, visual turn, I think, is still quite. Uh, uh, quite present, and uh, uh, the, the decade of the 90s was closed with Rancière, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, La Partage de Sensible must have been 99 or so. Yeah? So it is again a 10 years gap of theory building and, uh, 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 and practice that, that, that is more or less uh, 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 worked around. I, 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 I see it as a, a very good move on the one hand because of it is uh, creating the same mobility that the capital <laughs> has. Yeah, there is the need for the trans uh, for, for 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 refiguring things out trans uh, trans regional. Yeah, a uh, uh, multi layered for uh, 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 joint uh, initiatives and to transcend, so to say, that being grabbed in the local. On the other hand, for the local, I see it if you're coming back to my beginning story to Eastern Europe to all these things. Yeah. There is a danger that certain that certain uh, peculiarities of a local specificity are on the one hand eaten up by the neoconservatives, or are not taken seriously enough by that uh, 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 by that uh, uh, transnational trading approach, and there is again a generation of artists that might get a lost generation because of uh, they are not really properly researched and they're. The, the intellectual and discursive surroundings are not properly, so to say, displayed. Thankfully enough, and we have been we have been seeing that now in Job Jakarta. I'm seeing it here. Uh, I talked to one of your colleagues in the Asia Art Archive. Uh, we are seeing it in Eastern Europe. We are seeing it in some places of Eastern Europe. There is a young generation of uh, of curators and intellectuals very well aware of that. Of, of that difficulty, yeah? of that difficulty of a counter, uh, a, a counter hegemony, of a counter mainstream discourse that is uh, uh, somehow flattening uh, uh, the, 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 the Leibniz multi fold uh, 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 reality that artistic practice uh, uh, is in at the moment. So I think there is, there is some hope. But in Europe, it is, uh, it is uh, really a bit. In, Embarrassing, and there is in, in initiatives, other initiatives like the international that uh, had the chance to to, to be uh, in in the th in the first three years, where European museums consider the national policies and think about uh, uh, connecting to others and connecting to each other to create uh, uh, maybe a structure that is more sustainable in research and in in in, in exchanging uh, 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 dissimilarities and similarities of uh, of. Uh, 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 Local constellations uh, in 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 a wider respect, even an institutional frame, uh, in in a museum, and bringing in uh, discourses from Asia, from South America, and so on. So there is there is this productive counter moves as well, and there is uh, even people that try to create new institutions uh, on a very large scale, like the Southern Istanbul. You you are sitting here that are even talking about the post uh, uh, the post uh, curatorial now because of what I think is seen as well is that there must be transnational institutions building where this research can have something like a long a longer than the project standing uh, 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 what uh, this European change of policies brought with uh, is as well namely then that the uh, uh, research staff in the museum Museums that at least could uh, could uh, did a very very good job in writing their local art histories, uh, methodologically very good. You can go to to Sweden and you can have the best uh, 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 the best writing on local art uh, 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 local art history. It's like in a regional studies department in an American uh, university, but they are now hammered out. Yeah, they are they are really they are start they are they are already starting to starve. Yeah. In, in, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, possible funding, possible uh, uh, displaying, and uh, what I 
see as uh, uh, the capacity of this transnational institution building is that these knowledges could be brought uh, into a longer into a longer frame as the project economy really destroyed a lot of knowledge you know every biennial is aggregating so much knowledge you know in the teams that are set together in the in 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 in, 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 in the people that can exchange every documenter does 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 this yeah and this 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 knowledge is just dedicated to an event yeah 200 days or whatsoever and then it's dispersed i mean the uh, for sure the network stay but the stability of working in an institutional frame is uh, is something that is as well desirable, yeah. And that's that's what my fight, for instance, with the with the counter canonical left is, left is always. I, I'm referring to a debate that uh, uh, the other way Adorno had with the most conservative uh, 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 sociologist uh, Arnold Gehlen in the 1960s, just at the up when the German. Uh, uh, Lefts began to really challenge the uh, challenge the state. It was about freedom and institution. So uh, Adorno was the herald of the freedom because if he could see what catastrophic the institutions had done, uh, 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 the institutions of modernism had done. So the, the dark side of enlightenment and all these things that they that they reflected in the Frankfurt School. But Galen would always say. There is a need for an institution because uh, uh, he would say it from a really very uh, 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 maybe religious conservative aspect as well. There is a need in, of the institution as well to create kind of uh, a, a, a stability that is where we can enable ourselves to talk about our lives for longer than we uh, uh, or that, that takes some security of us that we don't have to invent. Uh, 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 ourselves and our knowledges and whatsoever on a permanent basis and that keep trace of that. Uh, Adorno would, would have then answered to Galen, well, but uh, 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 I just would accept that if they would allow the, the mourning and uh, the mourning and the, uh, 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 and the poverty of the street into them. Uh, but I think what would be a possibility, what, what's really uh, uh, happening at the moment, though these fields are so separate from from, uh, from each other, uh, uh, this, uh, as this activist uh, and political field, uh, uh, art field has been so strong in the streets, uh, 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 these uh, upcoming institutions that we see on the horizon, be it even the SALT or be it the international or be it other institutional frameworks, are open to do that, you know. They are open to to again think about the uses of art and political uh, uh, political motives. So they so they transcend it themselves, not just because of their their staffing uh, through funding funding politics, uh, 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 but because of their forced in a dialectic of needs. On the one hand, you know two or three big black blue sheet museums that are still harvesting like in colonial times. Like, look at the tape and it's collecting in the, in the Arab world. Uh, or look at this, uh, maybe the Centre Pompidou. But uh, look at the Serena Sophia. There's already something different going on. Yeah, This is an institution where something different is already going on. It is letting all the knowledge is in. It's not, it's not, it's not un... Uh, uh, and I think it could be this and the international and these frames could be uh, uh, the haven of a future uh, uh, perspective and Europe could play a role in that again because I don't see that so much in the in the in the universe uh, in, in, in the museum's world uh, uh, in, in other parts of the world I have to say yeah uh, 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 the MoMA is so old-fashioned it's still doing up a bar in a way uh, uh, and the museums that I see here are either old, old uh, uh, modernist <coughs> flagships or glancy collectors, whatsoever, biennial making institutions. So I think that's the productiveness of the dialectic that Europe, that Europe is in at the moment, that that could happen, uh, uh, and in, uh, in parts of South America as well. Yeah, you were, I remember you were talking at some point as a metaphor, like a I remember when or wherever you were, in a way, like comparing these to the kind of monasteries uh, in like late medieval Europe, you know, in, in the, the kind of like institutional framework that they provided and the, the kind of, also the, the heaven that they provided for, for the kind of like knowledge to be preserved and, and 
and, 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 and continued and, and uh, yeah yeah it's 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 a famous yeah it, it's the same I mean the, the, that's the dialectics of uh, of the uh, uh, of socialism as well because of uh, uh, the subjectivity of workers is not an idea of Marx and Engels but the subjectivity of workers that made them a a, 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 a political class has been created in the menaces of the uh, of the uh, of the huge industrial compounds and in the cities, you know, and in the cities. I mean, uh, 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 it is cynical to say, but there is this fame, there is this nice passage in Lyotard where he's saying, uh, 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 "Well, you Marxists, uh, you always think that these workers have suffered just from coming from the countryside." Uh, to their poor, uh, to, the, uh, to living poor in the cities. They enjoyed this, they enjoyed it because of they could meet each other, they could gather, they could uh, 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 create something like a resistance and they could have not been trapped in the feudalism of the, uh, uh, of the villages. So uh, this has been highly criticized, this passage in the Libidinous Academy, uh, Economy, I still remember. And it was just uh, uh, only, uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, land, the 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 uh, plant and land. This cyber theorist, uh, the the British cyber theorist, uh, uh, Colin Land, Colin Land, Colin Land, Colin Land, Colin Land. A, a, a person to read, yeah. <laughs> a person to read who said, "Okay, ah, that might happen again here now." Yeah, we are driven. Uh, 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 various the old left uh, as well in Europe. It's so annoying to see how they. How they criticize uh, with, uh, with, with a certain kind of community and locality uh, and, and localism idea and sharing idea. How they criticize that what we all are, uh, what we all are, uh, really like to drive uh, to drive on, namely uh, the electronic powers of uh, 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 of late capitalism. So I think this uh, this that, that that's what we're seeing again in that. So I'm uh, I'm very positive about these capacities. I'm not just I'm not just negative about these capacities. Uh, I, I mean, it was a bit too much, maybe, but no, yeah, I, I, would, uh, 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 have you finished? Well, yeah. <laughs> so then I would say, if there are, uh, 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 then the conversation would be over and we go into a Where conversation. To, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes. Are there are there questions or are there comments? Um, I wanted to ask what you think of this kind of revival of the term critical regionalism within the discussion around um, by sorry critical regionalism, um, which emerges from an architectural discourse, but and then kind of I have understood fell out of favor a little bit in architecture and then got co-opted into contemporary art as a way of addressing biennialization or a different approach to that of something that was an other from a transnational discussion or an international discussion but then but bigger than a national one so it was somewhere lodged in between and what I understand from transit's work is that it tries to take a region as a site of production in a sense that does share something because of geographic proximity but also maybe shared histories or shared understandings of of a kind of yeah um, a border uh, conflicts, etc., but that counters the universalizing of, of this notion of what it is to be modern or of, of the contemporary. Um, and I wondered, yeah, if, if that is factored into your thinking at all as a group of transit or into the way that you're trying to work? Uh, uh, well, that's, that's a, a, a good and a complicated question because of uh, uh, critical regionalism actually was uh, uh, a thing that uh, the term stems, I think, from Kenneth Frampton, if, yeah. I'm not, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And it was a thing that was uh, one of the reactions to uh, uh, late modernism, so to say. Yeah? That uh, uh, what you could see in, uh, uh, in, in the 60s, uh, before postmodernity actually took over in architecture, that there was kind of a reconsidering, or before. Uh, the big discourse of Rasa Rossi and Monino, and on the one hand the European postmodernity, and on the other hand the Venturi and uh, 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 Main Street is almost all right. Postmodernity came. It was uh, 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 a reaction, so to say, to universalist modernism of the 60s in reconsidering local modernist traditions. 
so to say, Ridolfi in, uh, in, 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 in Italy and all, these, uh, and all these people. They stood modern, modernist, yeah, but they worked through certain like a local dialect, dialect of that and they, 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 they created something like a local dialect. But it already then had been an international, somehow international movement. These people got to know each other, so they liked because of the shared that 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 critique critique of uh, 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 universalism, uh, and uh, uh, if you if you look in the early Casabella or in the early Powell, uh, uh, or in the look if you look into the. Uh, 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 the British magazines of that period, so there has been already kind of an, an internationalist discourse. Nevertheless, it was very important to uh, 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 to a discourse about the European city, uh, one could say, uh, uh, in the 80s, that empowered uh, uh, this uh, critical uh, urbanism of the late 90s, early 2000s, to work against uh, the destruction and privatization of urban space against gentrification and so on because of this critical re re uh, regionalism was over as well embedded into uh, uh, so to say the uh, the, the, the local uh, uh, financial middle class milieu and 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 and, and something like an enlightened uh, bureaucracy which uh, uh, was the trajectory I mean, in that way, one could say uh, uh, that what we are doing in transit is uh, a bit uh, similar. Yeah, but we, what 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 we really try to do is to to, to think through that milieu and, and to make something feasible and to to follow that what uh, actually was the wish of uh, a young generation of artists has been uh, uh, in the 2000s, mid 90s, 2000s, namely to get to know their local histories that have been so long abandoned or so long. Uh, I mean, Roman Ondak was the first to, to point that, uh, and 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 and, and, uh, uh, and uh, to point that Julius Scholar's work uh, and Vitabranek uh, uh, would be the first to point. Uh, uh, me would have been the first to point that Jerzy Kowanda's work at the, uh, uh, in, in the late 90s and so on. So we we thought that there is a story, a counter story to the then uh, October West Western discourse to tell. And I remember that I had a conversation with Hal Foster in uh, uh, 2000, it must have been 2000, in the Swiss uh, Center in New York, where uh, they invited some of us from Eastern Europe or from, uh, from South America to come, and uh, Hal would have said, well, what, 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 what are you telling us here? What are you showing us here? It is just all something like the mere reflection of that, what we have already worked through. Huh? So it's nothing new. And I had a story to tell because of, I've then been invited by uh, 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 to, to, to live in the uh, to take care of the cat of Dan Graham in Spring Street 11 because of Dan was out. Uh, and uh, 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 I called uh, 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 a person uh, that uh, the, uh, the Yugoslav friends would have told me is the mythical figure, so to say, of Yugoslav uh, thinking, but he has been always a bit, uh, uh, well, suppressed by the uh, Croatian uh, mafia in the avant-garde. Uh, 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 so I should call this person. Uh, and uh, I called the person, and then he asked me, where are you? I said, well, I'm just at Springsteen 11. I as I can see the uh, Rock My Religion jacket, uh, I can even uh, touch it uh, uh, of Dan Graham. Uh, uh, so where are you now? He said, come on, I'm a little Spring Street line. Uh, 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 and it was Goran Djordevich, now he's a quite famous person, yeah? uh, 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 quite uh, internationally renowned, who was then making the Salon de Fleur installation downstairs. So that's what the story I could answer to. Uh, uh, that was the story that I could answer to uh, uh, to 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 help foster. Then, okay, I mean, I'm in the Dan Graham apartment, but everybody in Yugoslavia asks me not to tell them anything about Dan Graham, but to uh, uh, immediately meet uh, uh, Goran Djordevich because of he's been so influential for them, you know. And and, the less, and that's what we have been trying to do. We have been trying to uh, to work around his practices, yeah. To, 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 to publish them, to, 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 to save some archives, uh, uh, to, to, 
uh, work around, uh, I mean, you have to say in all these countries there has been the postmodern clique as well, yeah? Uh, uh, that, again, that uh, suppressed, so to say, the, 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 the generation before. The postmodern clique was then very fashionable in the, uh, 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 around 2000, yeah? Uh, uh, doing the, uh, the, the uh, large-scale video installations and whatsoever, yeah? And it would come with a small photo, yeah? Uh, uh, of Yeshi Kovanda, yeah? He would show it to the Generali Foundation, yeah? Uh, 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 another story, so this was the stories that I've been talking, uh, so the, another story is about why we thought it is necessary, this critical rock regionalism. I did a show in Generali Foundation 1998, yeah? And uh, I just, uh, two or three years earlier, had written about Kovanda for the first time, a, a concise essay. And uh, so uh, we wanted to show this Kovanda. It was about Eastern European archives, more or less, uh, archives that had informed Eastern European art practices, but have never been shown to the public, that was the show. Uh, and then uh, I asked Kovanda to, to bring these pieces. Uh, 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 she said, uh, uh, my, my wife will come. Huh? <laughs> so the wife came with a bus and a backpack and had all these treasurables, so to say, in her backpack that now make, I think, one piece 100,000 euro or so. And uh, 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 the trans uh, it was so nice to see the transubstantiation. She would, that was in the flat somehow, yeah? And uh, she would put it on the table of Generali Foundation. Uh, the first thing that would happen, the white gloves would have been put on. She didn't know what to do with that, white gloves, <laughs> with that shady old papers, yeah. Okay, it was accepted in the institution as being at least out. But then uh, uh, we, we, we had it in a show, and uh, 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 Benjamin was then, uh, Benjamin Buchler was then uh, 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 in the board of Generali Foundation, and he totally destroyed this, as being second-handed, uh, 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 fleshless. I, they could not do institutional critique because if there was no institutions that they would critique because of nothing was governing and so on and so on. It was really a discourse of nothing. So that's what we tried to do. We tried to lift this. But now, yeah, uh, you're right. As we're seeing this critical regionalism is coming uh, uh, in as a methodology. We, uh, we are very, very, very skeptical about that, and we are uh, at the moment really reconsidering our practice. Okay. Are there any other questions here? Yes. Sorry. People are leaving anyway, so it's boring. Oh. No, I was just wondering, uh, what is your plan to uh, respond to all the biennialization uh, issues in the KBN? A pianale is as good and as bad as the people that are doing it, you know. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, I'm a bad curator, so I don't know how to respond properly. <laughs> uh, 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 for sure not, uh, for sure not uh, uh, waving the European or the Soviet flag uh, on the palace and doing activism. Uh, I think I think it is uh, that they have to have uh, uh, visual regimes to carry in this uh, uh, specific uh, context that are quite complex and have a quite complex history, uh, and uh, it's a history that can uh, uh, that that is not just a local history; it's a European history. Yeah? That's that's that, that's mirroring in parts uh, uh, of that conflict and in in in, 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 uh, in, in that what happened uh, there or what the what even what the Ukrainian art scene is between Ilya Repin and uh, 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 Kazimir Malevich between realism and Baroque and uh, uh, I mean all the most of the social realist, realist painters have been uh, educated at the Kiev Academy. Uh, so there is, there is, there is uh, this, this building we are doing in is, is a Napoleonist classicist armory. Uh, uh, so there is a history around that. Then there is a history around the landscape uh, 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 in the collective mythology that is quite interesting because of the landscape. On the other hand, is the utmost the desirable goods of Europeans ever in the Ukraine because of it's one of the most fruitful soils for uh, uh, feeding uh, Europe. Uh, so there is a lot of themes that one can touch uh, uh, without uh, uh, without letting people not do their job. You know, I'm, uh, it's still an art 
it's still an art, uh, 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 and we shouldn't pour out art in thinking that one could intervene uh, on the streets. That's what I found a bit blind in the Istanbul thing, you know, that suddenly, uh, I mean, with the euphoria of a revolution is always something very specific, you know, because we think it never ends and there is this energy pouring out of you. But again, uh, we, had a, we had an interview with Vasif Korten in the, uh, in the Austrian media, uh, where he was sitting with tear gas, it was very nice because of he, he really commissioned himself for obviously to be on the, uh, 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 on the Gezi mm -hmm. e every night and he was shouting loudly, this is public art. Well, we were quite emotional. for me there is, uh, uh, there is another way of public art as well that is uh, uh, embedded in, uh, uh, well, one could say the political symbolic that is uh, as well important to take. Yeah. So maybe this is the first answer to Kiev. Mm -hmm. But mm. you start to take something. Right? Yeah, I was oh. just. Uh, I mean, I uh, after Gezi, so it's like in Istanbul, all the institutions are questioning themselves, including the the foundation that organized Biennale and all the other festivals, Ikas uh, let's call, and as well as Salt, because. Uh, I will, I'm just going to ask you, like, what, what do you think? Like, what is the uniqueness of salt? Uh, the pretension to create something like this institution at that point, in this, uh, 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 with this funding at that time, and to uh, uh, to to uh, uh, create uh, uh, to, to to create uh, to collect uh, uh, a certain frame of debates into uh, into that institution. It's not not, not so. And similar mm -hmm. from that, uh, and that the second thing is that it's uh, 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 loudly pronouncing. Uh, 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 I don't know what the, if the practice can follow. Uh, uh, that is going to deal with archives. That is collecting, so to say, histories. That it is uh, about a long, uh, a long-term research frame and all of these things. That's the pre uh, that's the pretension that I like very much about mm -hmm. this about this project. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, two years ago in that freeze fair, there was a debate about curatorial, and Vasif would have said, uh, "Well, I think we're in the post-curatorial age." Yeah, nobody understood. So yeah, yeah, from yeah, from yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, and there was something, uh, there was something similar to that. Was I was saying uh, uh, with 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 the Galen and and and, 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 and the donor debate and the, 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 the economy of the project and uh, mm. and the necessity for 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 a wider institutional institutional perspective that I still believe yep. in. That's what I. That, uh, uh, that's what that that that's what somehow Charles has been Charles Esch has been trying to do in uh, in Van Appel. Though it's mm -hmm. the, the, though you see how, how this is different, you know. There is uh, uh, all uh, uh, from the rhetorics, even from the rhetorics, there is uh, Dutch uh, uh, imagined them for a long time to be so democratic that uh, uh, even the CEO would have to make his coffee himself, you know, because mm -hmm. nobody would serve. Uh, that's mm -hmm. changed a bit as well. But there was this air around him. Yeah, why should I serve you? Yeah, uh, and so Charles had to to do it differently and to bring the political in differently, but. There, 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 and, and the Spanish context is, 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 is another context. But I, I, I trust him. I mean, I'm, I'm just staying here within this circle because of the, uh, I've been founding the international as well, and maybe it's a legitimatory discourse. But, but uh, I still believe that uh, there is a that there is a value in that. Mm. No, but I, I mean, it's maybe too specific, but uh, for that. What it occurs to me is just like uh, salt itself is like run by only one person, and it's like it's, it's and like they are having all this uh, sort of uh, collectivism things. Like they are asking, oh, what uh, what should our font and um, what should be our font? So you can just vote and select salt's new fonts. And there's always this one person who is. It's like it's in a way like a political party that is not really functioning, <laughs> you know, like not really engaging with people. But uh, uh, I totally can understand that criticism and the party share that criticism, but uh, uh, it, it's the obstacle for a debate as well. Yeah. It would be 
it would be much much less interesting to just to talk to Sabanchi and to Kutch, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to that's just the thing, to talk that's to the big collectors. About so, so, so always, maybe there's always one personness of institutions and, or collections or like you know very uh, uh, few people have. That's what we we try to not have in transit, for instance. But we're not mm -hmm. an institution, you know. We we're just a we we're just four or five people that like to hang around with mm -hmm. each other and share some values and mm -hmm. and, and have the chance to make a certain. Mm -hmm. mid scale careers. <laughs> well, the Gezi at that point was good that everybody, like or even Wasif and Salt, they started to criticize themselves too, so it was maybe, yeah, it's But the cold. Turkish moment mm -hmm. was, was, was uh, I mean, in my, in my, at least in my reading, was, uh, was, was, a, was a specific, uh, was a, uh, not so comparable to other moments, you know, because. Mm -hmm. It is as if a society that has always been talked about an enlightened society since the Kemalist years as being that kind of yeah, modern modern society which for the first time understood that it's a society not framed into modernist uh, uh, subjectivities like unions like parties like mm -hmm. uh, like what service but there would be a, a possible other that could mm -hmm. gather and create something like the social uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, which 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 uh, which which was, uh, I think, yeah. that what suddenly uh, was in the air. And yeah. th th in this respect, institutions have to consider their work because mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, they have to cope with that new reality. Yeah. I think we can continue over dinner because <laughs> you know, everybody's invited. You can go to uh, to eat. Uh, Georg, thank you very, very much. Thank you, and sorry for being so rhapsodic and not. <laughs> but everybody invited to dinner, we go to the. Are you still talking in the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> I anyway, I anyway, would have gone to smoke now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you. Is everyone joining for dinner? Okay. Yeah. I will join that. <laughs> oh, super. Yeah.